Jingle jingle friends, welcome to Holidays at Harmony Hills Home and Garden. We're doing a lot of DIYs for our Candyland theme this year, and today's project is to make these delicious looking, fake, ice cream sundaes. Come with me, and let's figure out how to make these faux treats for the Candyland theme. For the basis of the ice cream sculptures, we're using Model Magic Clay from Crayola. I picked this up at the craft store. You can also get it online or at Target or uh, Walmart or any other place like that. And I'm also using styrofoam balls. Now I'm using the clay to make the part of the ice cream scoop that kind of squirts out the side when you use an ice cream scoop in say, I don't know, a half a gallon of ice cream. I'm just using my fingers and this little clay tool that I picked up at the Dollar Tree um, to form this little ruffle or skirt or I don't know this little um, the parts that squeeze out and it doesn't really have to look any specific way I'm using both ends of this tool to do it some of them are going to be more rough from the point and others of them will be a little bit I don't know different folded looking or um, just different sorts of crevices um, to go around the bottom of this ice cream. You know, when you're making fake food, um, some things you really have to get precise to, in order for it to look realistic. But some other things, it doesn't have to be precise at all. Now I found that I was having trouble with the clay pulling away from the styrofoam here. And I didn't really want that to be happening. Now on the top part, I am making some ridges. You know how when you use an ice cream scoop, the top of the scoop itself has these little lines on it from where the ice cream was scraped. So I'm using the pointy end of this tool. Sometimes I use the other end of it. And uh, sometimes you, I could use like a, I don't know, the side of a scissor blade or just really any tool that's nice and firm that can make straight lines. Now you see how this um, clay is pulling away from the styrofoam. I didn't want that to happen over the long run. So I'm going to use some Mod Podge. This, I believe, I don't know if this is matte or glossy or satin. It doesn't really matter. I'm just using the Mod Podge as a glue to hold the clay and styrofoam together around the edges. Now, when I pushed that back up onto the styrofoam, some of the detail in that I had put into the clay fell out. So I think I did spend a little bit of time putting that detail back in. I got these ice cream sundae cups, which are really sold as champagne glasses. But anyway, I'm using them for ice cream sundaes. I got them at the Dollar Tree and it fits perfectly in there. So now I'm just going to mass produce five more. Same method, uh, although I think I learned to put the glue, the Mod Podge glue on at the beginning before I did the forming. So I'm just dry fitting and testing to make sure they fit in the glasses. And then here I'm using the edge of my scissors to make the ridges on the ice cream scoop itself. And then back to making that little distressed part down around the outside of the ice cream scoop. Now, I also made some second layer scoops. Uh, I dried them overnight upside down so that the clay could get nice and dry. But for the second layer scoops of ice cream, I cut the styrofoam balls in half. And then I formed the clay around them unevenly so that the part that is down by the edge of the glass would be small and the part that shows on the top of the second scoop would be big. I also made the backs of the second scoops sort of concave so that they would form fit to the lower scoop a little bit easier. I hope that makes sense. I'm sorry I didn't show that on camera. I think my footage was corrupted. Now painting them is when they really start to look realistic. So I have six of them uh, that are double layer and I'm just 
going to use uh, acrylic craft paint. So I start with white and I'm adding in some yellow and some beige. I want to go for some sort of uh, vanilla color here. Um, and that dark brown took it in the direction I didn't really want it to go. And so now I'm adding more yellow to it to try to salvage this and come up with some sort of a French vanilla ice cream look. I really wanted it. I don't know what I was going for. I wasn't thinking. So anyway, I kept adding white and more white and more white to lighten it up. And then I ended up with what I would consider a French vanilla ice cream color. I also used this as a butter pecan ice cream color. And then it's just a matter of painting. I'm using a, just a really inexpensive sponge brush here to paint the ice cream uh, scoops. And when I put them into the cup, because the cup is transparent, it looks like there's melted ice cream in the bottom of the cup, which is the look I was going for, so that worked out. Now, as you paint the styrofoam, you begin to see those lines that we carved into them that make the top ridges of the ice cream. I'm gonna clean the extra paint off the side. I didn't want any extra paint on the side of the cup there. And now, again, I'm going for the second scoop here. I'm gonna use Mod Podge to glue it to the bottom scoop. My paint's still wet here, so it's all a bit messy. But uh, so, painting the top scoop as well with the same vanilla color. And then uh, I just put it onto the bottom scoop and then the Mod Podge will hold them together. And the paint will actually be what holds them into the cup. I suppose if you pull hard that you could pull them out of the cup, but I didn't do that. So I think they're gonna be pretty safe and solid in there, not gonna fall out. And these are not really intended to be used as toys or anything, so and I'm not selling them. So they're just going in my house for display. All right, so I'm doing a second cup that's got two scoops of this vanilla colored ice cream. Using a fine brush to get into the little cracks and crevices. Using the sponge brush for getting most of the paint on too. And then Mod Podge to hold them together. For strawberry ice cream, I just mixed a nice light pink color. For chocolate ice cream, I mixed a nice medium brown color. This cup has strawberry in the bottom and chocolate on the top. And then I made one that's a double scoop of chocolate. And the last one is mint chocolate chips. So I'm making a nice vibrant green mint ice cream. Okay, let's make some chocolate chips. I'm using polymer clay. This is Sculpey 3, I think. Uh, I might be wrong about that. It's one of the polymer clays you can get at the craft store. Uh, actually, this is Sculpey Souffle, I think. I'm mixing black and brown together to get a nice dark chocolate color, which is not all the way black and not all the way brown. And then I roll it out into a log and I, for the mint chocolate chip, I want them to be chunk shapes, so rectangles. So I'm gonna form this log using some popsicle sticks to make it rectangular and then make little chunks, slices off of that. Using my craft knife to make little rectangles of chocolate. And now for the chocolate chip ice cream, I'm going to be making little balls that I turn into actually chocolate chip shapes. And I'm just doing this by hand. Um, they don't have to be perfect. Just made little balls and then turn the balls into little chips. Now these need to be baked in the oven according to the package directions and then they're ready to use. I had made some cherries out of air dry clay uh, the day before and I forgot to film it, I'm sorry, but they're little balls and they just have a little um, indentation at the top of them where the stem will come out. And so uh, it was just really simple, just air dry clay for that. And now I'm mixing up some glossy paint to color them. And that was a cherry red color mixed with a little bit of brown to turn it into a deeper color. And then a lot of glossy Mod Podge. Now it's looking like it's a light pink color now because the Mod Podge is white but when it dries clear, you'll see later in this video that those cherries turned out to be a gorgeous, deep cherry red color with a high gloss on it. And actually you'll see it right here. The cherries are gonna get some stems made out of Simple Craft paddle wire. I did try to make them out of clay, but it was just too flimsy and it didn't really hold up. So I'm using a paddle wire of green floral wire and I'm just making little two inch or so, maybe three inch lengths of this wire and then just stick them into the cherries. You see how rich and red those cherries came out? Such a great color.
using those pliers to straighten out the wire sometimes. All right, now let's put those chocolate chips out of the oven into the ice cream. So I didn't put the, um, the mint ice cream together yet because I wanted both layers to have chocolate chips on it. So I'm just taking the chocolate chip that I made out of polymer clay, which are now firm, and I'm just poking them into the styrofoam, poking them into the clay. The paint is still wet on the ice cream, so my fingers are getting all messy. And some of the chocolate chips actually got green paint on them, but that's okay because if you were really scooping out ice cream, the chips would have some ice cream on them, so it's not unrealistic to have some ice cream looking paint on them. And so that's the top layer done, and now I'm gonna do the bottom layer the same way. I'm really not gonna put a ton of chips on the bottom layer where the top layer will cover it, but in the end it looked really realistic. Okay, and now I'm gonna use the other chocolate chips that I made in the chip shape to put into this chocolate chip ice cream on top of the strawberry. So again, just poking them in there. Sometimes I pre-make a hole for them to go into, sometimes I don't. I'm not using any glue or anything. They're just gonna be held in there by the wet paint. And there we go, strawberry in the bottom, chocolate chip on the top. Now let's make some pecans for the butter pecan. Hot glue on a cold surface and let it harden. Just a wiggly line of hot glue. And then I'm gonna paint it brown. This is just acrylic craft paint. Just random little squiggles. And then I'm using my, um, what is that? A, a heat gun to dry it fast because I was impatient. But here we are. And just using scissors to chop it up into random shapes and shaking it around in that uh, paint and then laying them out to dry. And perfect little fake pecans. And again, just poking them in. Now the part where you cut it and it uh, wasn't painted, that's actually pretty realistic looking because, uh, you know, a chopped nut doesn't have the dark skin all through the meat of it. So there you have it. We have chocolate ice cream, double scoop of it. Strawberry ice cream, double scoop of that. A double scoop of butter pecan. A double scoop of mint chocolate chip. a double scoop of French vanilla, and a scoop of strawberry with a scoop of chocolate chocolate chip on top. Now they're not quite finished though. We've got a little bit more work to do. Let's make some fudge, caramel, and marshmallow sauce for these. I'm taking some glossy Mod Podge and some brown paint. This is a medium caramely brown, and now some uh, quick seal caulk. Mix that up and it makes a really thick mixture that will hold its shape once you pour it out. I'm putting this fake caramel sauce into a plastic bag and I'm just going to kind of flatten it out a little bit, get rid of any lumps of caulk that might still be remaining in there, and then cut the corner and just, you know, squeeze it out as if it's caramel sauce. I think this is so realistic. It turned out really great. Now it'll dry a deeper color because again the Mod Podge is white and the caulk is white. All right, for this one, I forgot to film it or something, but this is just, uh, it's intended to look like marshmallow cream sauce on top. And it's really just white, slick, puffy paint. And then those little marshmallows are little um, Model Magic marshmallows that I made just like I made in my marshmallow treats video, which you can look at separately. Okay, now let's do some chocolate. Again, glossy Mod Podge, a dark, dark color of paint, and then some more caulk. Stir that all around. I think this is burnt ember uh, paint color. And then put it in the bag. And again, I'm going to just um, kind of swoosh it around to get rid of any lumps of the caulk. Cut the corner and put the hot fudge onto the vanilla ice cream. Again, this will dry a little bit darker. And some sprinkles this time. These are the peppermint sprinkles that I purchased at Michael's a couple weeks ago, and I've used these on my donuts as well in a previous video.
Okay, so I am ready to finish off my ice cream sundae desserts. These are um, all done except for the whipped cream and the cherries. I'm going to be using spackle as faux whipped cream. The spackle I'm using is this, Fast and Final. I got it in a big tub from Lowe's and it's really nice because it's bright white. It's already super light and fluffy and you don't have to do any sort of preparation on it. All you just do is put your uh, spackle into your piping bag with your piping tip and it's ready to go. I'm gonna be using this number 2D um, extra large kind of jumbo sized um, piping tip. Some people use the spackle that some people can find at uh, the Dollar Tree. Um, couple of downsides for that for me. One, I can't find it at my Dollar Tree. They don't carry it. And two, uh, people say that it's thicker and you have to mix it with water and stir it up. And sometimes you have to mix it with white paint because it has a bit of a gray tinge to it. So I was just pleased enough to go find this huge container full of spackle that's all ready, ready to use. And uh, it was a better bargain actually than paying $1.25 for the small tub that you get at the Dollar Tree. But I can't find it at my Dollar Tree anyway, so it's kind of a moot point. All right, so I'm gonna um, put some of this spackle into a piping bag. I have just regular cake decorating piping bags here. These are uh, 12 inch ones, yeah. I've been watching all the YouTubers do their fake bakes, and I've learned a little bit about how to choose where to put your cut. Um, you put your tape in there, and you see where the bottom of the um, cuts are. And you take that's where you cut, and so then you push that out through there. It's a perfect fit. So you're just gonna pipe this just like you would if it were icing. And then I put my cherry on top. And it's done. I think these turned out so cute and they're really realistic looking too and they were really easy and I've never done anything like this before so that just goes to show how easy they were. All you need is some styrofoam, some clay and some paint and some spackle and then away you go. It's just a really cute craft to do at the holiday season. I think these are going to fit in really nicely on display in my Candyland themed room this year. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that you'll consider subscribing, hit the like button and the notification bell, and come back and visit us some more for more Candyland treats.